in today's video i'll walk you through my wash day routine after my hair has been tortured for the past few months and how i stop my hair from shedding because my hair has been shedding like crazy so stay tuned let go so first things first i'm going to pre-pull and i like to pre-pull with aloe vera whenever my hair is really matted my hair has been so matted so basically what i did is just to blend my aloe vera with water and then i sieved it just to get rid of those flakes i applied this on my hair generously and i also detangled my hair because my hair is extremely matted my hair has been out every now and then for the past couple of weeks and my hair is just crazy aloe vera helps to keep my hair very soft which makes wash this so much easier and then i'll detangle it and then get rid of all shed hair and then i'll get into my wash day properly i'm done detangling and this is what i got the amount of shedding i got and this is 24 hours shedded hair because i detangled my hair yesterday and i got slightly more than this Prior to that, I detangled my hair two days. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be detangling my hair like this much, but that was to just show you the amount of neglect that my hair has been going through. I put my hair in my shower cap and then it's currently six it's currently six-ish. So by 11, 10, 11 I would go to bed and I'm going to cover my hair with my satin. I'll, I'll take this out, out or I'll stick it. I really don't know. I'll let you guys know tomorrow. But I'll wrap my hair with this and I'll go to bed. And tomorrow I'll shampoo and do the rest. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys. So it's the next day. I, whew, I ended up removing the shower cap because I was not thinking straight. <laughs> anyway, the shampoo I'm going to be using is this moisturizing black soap shampoo. Moisturizing black soap shampoo with herbal extract from kudos natural no kudos healthy living so this shampoo was gifted to me and it has a lot of peppermint you would literally feel it tingling on your scalp and that's why i love it so much so i've been using it consistently since the brand gave it to me and i absolutely love it but don't allow this to enter your eyes because <laughs> you're gonna see you're gonna see your ancestors because of the amount of peppermint, it literally feels like pepper. So don't let it enter your eyes. So of course, I'll be washing my hair in sections. So I have very very itchy scalp and then my hair tends to itch even immediately after washing. So because this shampoo has a lot of peppermint and tea tree, it is just perfect for my hair. I just let it sit after the first wash, I just let it sit for a little while before I'll finally rinse everything all together. And I am definitely not among those group of people that say you should not shampoo your hair strands. I use a lot of butter so i need to shampoo my strands to get rid of that layer of dirt in order to add new products and get my hair all moisturized as i stated earlier my hair has been shedding a lot and if you're consistent in my channel you would know that i have a treatment that works really well for me in the past the power is out everybody please get your pvc now i'll briefly describe how i made this treatment that stopped my hair from shedding but make sure to check for the video in my description box below on the full details of this treatment this treatment will help you reduce your excessive hair shedding and dandruff first what you need is two bags of black tea one bag of green tea two tablespoons of fenugreek seed and rosemary you can make use of fresh or dry rosemary and then hot water you let this sit for about 10 minutes and then you take out the tea bags then you let it sit for about three to six hours i left mine overnight this is what i'm left with after six hours I sieve out all of the seeds and the rosemary i normally let this sit for about a day in my hair with a little bit of leave-in conditioner because black tea dries out your hair and i also normally use this as a pre-pull but because i needed to use my aloe vera i use my aloe vera as a pre-pull and i'm doing this right before i deep condition don't forget to apply this in sections and get your roots your ends and your hair strands okay so i'm done and clearly i made 
way too much but that's okay this should last in my fridge for about seven days so i'm going to use this again on my next wash day but i'll use it as a pre pool instead so now i'm just going to use my shower cap Amen. you guys my house is so noisy because of the road but i'm going to sit under the heat cap for about say five minutes then i'll just let it sit on my hair for um 24 hours so by this time tomorrow i'm going to raise it off and then deep condition so i'll see you guys there and by the way can you see my shirt so make sure to do this with a black make sure to use the treatment with a black shirt or a brown shirt or a shirt that you don't mind like losing hi guys so i just woke up <laughs> can you tell <laughs> So I just rinsed my hair. Okay. So, bro. So I just rinsed my hair a little bit, just because I like to deep condition my hair when it's really, really wet. My OGs already know this is my deep conditioner. I recommend this all the time. It's the olive oil ORS replenishing, replenishing conditioner. So I'm just going to generously apply this in the sections I already made yesterday. Oh, and by the way, for anybody that will be wondering, why on earth are you or am I doing my wash day for like 48 hours? This is not a routine. This is not what I do all the time. This is just a one-time thing because, like I said, my hair has suffered a lot the past few weeks. So I just wanted to really treat it well and subsequently i'm going to post my one hour wash day routine very easy just turn on post notification and once it's up you get to see it so i'll just generously apply this and of course still kind of finger detangle i use a lot of deep conditioner don't be afraid of using a lot of products on your hair if I could give just one tip on how to grow very healthy and soft, luscious, delicious looking natural hair, I would say it's deep conditioning. So never skip your deep conditioning. Whether you wash your hair once a month, you wash your hair weekly, bi-weekly, whatever, make sure you deep condition always. It helps to keep your 4 C thick hair really soft and manageable. Okay guys, I'm done. So the instruction said to use heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's what I'm going to do. Or you let it sit in your hair for about 45 minutes to one hour without heat. 10 to 15 minutes with heat, with my heat cap. So that's what I'm going to do, of course, because anybody got time for that. So I'll just take this out. You guys, you need to lather a lot of um, conditioner if the tea is still on your hair or you rinse out the tea first i will rinse this off then i'll be back okay beautiful humans i'm just going to moisturize my hair so normally i use this um leave-in conditioner by rubs natural i'll put a picture of it on my screen but i ran out so i'm just going to use the mega growth leave-in conditioner for now and i'm going to use a lot okay So this is a couple of days later i just realized that i did not film the video completely but basically what i do is to apply my leave-in conditioner and then i apply my hair butter also i like to oil my scalp please ah yes i use oil and butters all those no oils and no butter people please not in this place thank you very much so yeah thank you very much for watching my video i'll see you in my next video bye